The mirror of creation imagines staring into a mirror that doesn't just reflect light, but time itself. A mirror not made of glass, but of gold, its surface curved and tuned with such impossible precision that it can capture the faintest whispers of creation itself. And when you gaze into it, you don't see your reflection. You don't see your face, your home, your planet, or even your galaxy. Instead, you stare through that golden window into the infancy of the universe, into a time when reality itself was still learning how to exist. That is what the James Webb Space Telescope was built to do, to look back, not in distance, but in time. To capture the light of the first dawn. To reveal how everything began. But when Webb finally turned its golden eyes toward the deep, silent dark, what it found wasn't the beginning we expected. It wasn't the cosmic cradle. It wasn't the serene quiet of creation. It was something else, a contradiction written across the stars. A cosmic impossibility. For decades, scientists believed they had traced the universe's grand design. First came the Big Bang, not an explosion in space, but an expansion of space itself. Then came the long dark age, a silence stretching hundreds of millions of years before the first stars flickered into being. Matter gathered slowly, gravity sculpting galaxies out of dust, clusters out of galaxies, and eventually, after billions of years, worlds capable of life. The rule seemed unshakable. The further back we look, the simpler things should become. Faint hydrogen clouds, drifting chaos, scattered radiation, that was what we expected. But Webb shattered that expectation. When it turned its golden mirrors toward a patch of sky so empty it was thought to be void, it captured something that shouldn't have existed. A fully developed galaxy, not a blur, not a smear of gas, but a breathtaking spiral of light. Stars orbiting in harmony. Spiral arms coiling like ribbons of fire. And at its center, a monstrous black hole pulsing like a cosmic heartbeat. This wasn't a fragile infant of a galaxy. This was structure, precision, and grace, a system already thriving when it shouldn't have even been born. And the shock didn't stop there. With every image Webb captured, more galaxies emerged from that ancient haze, mature, luminous, stable, and chemically complex. It was as if the universe had skipped billions of years of growth and leapt straight into impossible adulthood. With each new discovery, a single question began to echo louder across every observatory on Earth. What if everything we thought we knew about the beginning was wrong? Webb's first deep field image showed a galaxy more than 13 billion light years away. Astronomers expected a faint glimmer lost in noise. Instead, it stared back, bright, structured, alive. Spiral arms wrapped around a dense glowing heart, as if it had been shining for eons. It wasn't forming. It was finished. Complete. Ancient in form, yet impossibly young in time. To grasp how unsettling that is, you need to understand how galaxies are supposed to evolve. In the early universe, matter was scattered, thin, random, restless. Gravity took ages to pull it together. Stars took centuries to ignite. Galaxies took billions of years to build. Complexity was supposed to take patience. But Webb told another story, a story that rewrote time itself. This galaxy hadn't just formed, it had lived. It had matured. It had history. The laws of astrophysics didn't allow for this kind of miracle. It was like planting a seed at dawn and finding an ancient redwood forest by dusk. And then came the realization, this wasn't one rare anomaly. It was everywhere. Across the sky, Webb found galaxies far too advanced for their age, structured where there should have been chaos, beautiful where there should have been nothing at all. The telescope wasn't wrong. The universe was. Or rather, our understanding.
The universe that remembered then came the light, spectral fingerprints hidden within Webb's data. They revealed the elemental makeup of those impossible galaxies. And what scientists found defied everything they had predicted. These galaxies weren't made of just hydrogen and helium. They contained oxygen, carbon, and even iron, elements that can only be created inside stars and released by supernova explosions. But that process takes time. Stars must live, die, and scatter their ashes into space. That cycle should take hundreds of millions, even billions, of years. Yet here they were, galaxies less than 400 million years old, already enriched and reborn. The early universe wasn't crawling toward complexity, it was racing toward it. It wasn't calm or empty. It was alive, burning, erupting, recycling itself faster than logic would allow. And then Webb saw something even more extraordinary. At the heart of one of these galaxies lay a black hole, not a newborn, but a supermassive giant more than a billion times the mass of our sun. Such behemoths exist in the modern universe, where billions of years have passed for them to feed and grow. But this one appeared at the dawn of time, when the cosmos was still a child. It wasn't possible. Even the most extreme models couldn't explain such rapid growth. It was as if the universe had skipped the steps, as if the laws of time themselves had been edited. Some theorized primordial black holes, ancient relics born directly from density ripples in the newborn cosmos. Others whispered about exotic physics, about dark matter and unseen forces. But the truth remained the same, every explanation broke the rules. And the deeper Webb looked, the stranger it became. These galaxies weren't scattered randomly. Their patterns echoed something familiar, mathematical ratios, repeating spirals, a geometry found everywhere from shells to storms to galaxies themselves. The same sacred pattern that nature uses to paint life, the golden spiral, seemed written across the stars. Coincidence? Or proof of a hidden architecture guiding creation itself? Webb's ultra-deep images revealed what once looked like chaos might actually be design, fractal, ordered, deliberate. But fingerprints of what? Then came one of the most haunting discoveries yet. In the cold void between galaxies, Webb detected faint traces of complex organic molecules. Not simple gases, but polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, the chemical scaffolding of amino acids, the ingredients of life. They weren't trapped in comets or bound to planets. They were free, drifting across billions of years and trillions of miles. Life's raw materials weren't late arrivals. They were there from the beginning. Perhaps life wasn't a coincidence at all. Perhaps it was written into the fabric of the universe itself. And then came the image that silenced even the skeptics. Six galaxies arranged like petals around a central core, perfectly spaced, rotating in eerie synchrony. Astronomers called it the flower. Gravitational lensing could not explain its precision. No natural model fit. Some whispered it might be something more, a cosmic signature, a message carved into space-time, waiting eons for us to see it. And finally came the most chilling idea of all. What if the act of observation itself is what changes the universe? Quantum mechanics already hints that reality behaves differently when measured. But what if this principle doesn't stop at the microscopic? What if it extends to the stars themselves? Some of Webb's images appeared to shift subtly over time, faint structures changing, patterns fading and reappearing. Data noise? Possibly. Or something far stranger. If that's true, then we're not just observers of the cosmos. We're participants. Co-authors. Triggers of something vast and ancient. Because what Webb revealed wasn't just about galaxies or black holes, it was about truth itself. Galaxies too old. 
Chemistry too advanced. Black holes too massive. Patterns too perfect. Molecules too alive. Webb hasn't merely shown us the unimaginable, it has forced us to imagine more. Maybe we didn't find the edge of the universe. Maybe we found its memory. And maybe, just maybe, it remembered us. So now, the question isn't what did Webb see? It's what did it away.